How do you sort out the so-called jargon from real-world practices that work? Do the members of your organization find some business or technology advice utterly confusing? Welcome to Real Talk with Sam Holzman. In this program, we set the record straight and in terms that business people and technology people can understand. Now, here is your host, Sam Holzman. Welcome to this edition of Real Talk. I'm Sam Holzman, and uh, this is part four of our broadcasts on what is strategy. And this particular broadcast is about a one-sentence beginning on developing a business strategy. And that one sentence is what we refer to as the, the goal that you are trying to achieve. And that goal of your business strategy needs to be fully formed. And as much as I can emphasize this, please don't go past this and make sure that you and the organization recognize that that is the guiding goal of what you're trying to achieve by your strategy. And that comes from our business architecture approach. And so let me give you the components of what that is. So first of all, of course, you have a name, but a name is not enough. So a name is like a table of context. Context. A table of contents give you just that, a table of contents, and what you need after that is the content. So the goal of your strategy is X. And I don't want to even give you an example at this point yet. So it's a statement, it's a name of what your strategy is trying to do. The next component is a narrative description of what that is in a human consumable format that can be absorbed this whole statement needs to be absorbed. Whatever your strategy or strategic intent is and the definition of that strategy in less than 54 seconds. And that number, I'm sure, I hopefully you've heard some of my other broadcasts, comes from an extensive amount of research of what human beings can absorb. 54 seconds is about all you have. But it should contain the following. The next is a description, a narrative description of what that means. From that, the strategy statement would have the resulting business value. And we like to talk about the business value from two aspects. One is the stakeholders' value of you enabling your business strategy, which enables something for those stakeholders, and what that value is to your own organization, because it's a strategy. Next component, measurement. What is the measure that will show that your strategy is actually doing what it's supposed to? And the fourth component is a time frame. And the time frame isn't forever. (laughs) And you can choose whatever that time frame is. So you have the name, which is sort of like a table of contents, so we know what we're talking about when it comes to that particular strategy. The description of what that is in a narrative format, so people understand what that name of that strategy is that you're trying to do. Then you have the measurement of that, whatever that particular measure is, the value, and of course, the time frame. And that gives you a complete definition of what you're trying to do. So once again, the name, description, business value, measurement, and time frame of that, what that strategic intent is. And that gives you that guiding light for what that is. So our strategy is to enable organizations around the world to be able to provide 
explicit representations and definitions of what their organization capabilities need to be and are in that order, resulting in the organization recognizing the potential they have by adding new capabilities to the organization, retiring old capabilities, or ensuring that the gap between desired capabilities and new capabilities is closed and will be measured by the number of new capabilities that enable our stakeholders' business strategies by no later than 24 months from now. And now we have a guiding light to be able to do that. And that's where we begin our journey. Thank you for tuning in to Real Talk. Be sure to join your host, Sam Holzman, again for another edition of our program. We'll have more Real Topics of discussion then. So you want to advance your career and see enterprise architecture as a key component to this advancement. Or you're an enterprise Every architect day in and business, you want to be more. We hear jargon, see writings from so-called experts, and don't know what we should follow and what we should avoid. Now there's a daily five-minute brief to sort everything out. Real Talk with Sam Holzman is the program that provides actual field-enabled best practices, insights, and real-world experiences that help business executives, technology executives, managers, and staff using straightforward talk. Get your daily dose of Real Talk. Virtual Business Architecture Services from the Business Architecture Center of Excellence will provide you with the expertise of our consulting services remotely so you can achieve your goals quickly, efficiently, and economically. Using our business architecture methodology, complemented by our full BACOE practitioner support, we will help you achieve the same great results without any travel at a reduced cost. Please visit BACOE.org backslash virtual hyphen BA for more information.